hey guys and welcome back to pixel cherry ninjas channel in today's video we're having a look at the best way to play or an or at least an alternative way of how to play super nintendo games on your asus rog ally this isn't limited to the asus rog ally anyone on windows 11 can use this or anyone in windows in general because the rog ally is a windows machine but uh hopefully you've all got retroarch installed if you haven't got retroarch installed have a look at the prompt that's popping up top and i've got a tutorial on how to set up retroarch on your asus rog ally but once we're in retroarch what we want to do is we want to go to load core and uh, this is a list of calls that you've got installed if you haven't got the the core installed let's go ahead and download that which is let's go all the way to the bottom of the list and go go to download a core then we want to head over to nintendo and the super nintendo section so let's just get to there quickly there's a lot of calls on here each call is a separate emulator and the one that we want i've already got it downloaded it got downloaded if there's a hash sign next to the call it means you've got it downloaded but for the sake of the video let's go ahead and download this call here this this is what we want to be able to play SNES uh, games in HD and widescreen. So uh, SNES SFC B SNES HD Beta. Let's go ahead and download that. Here we go. It should only take a second. I've already got it uh, installed, so it didn't download it for me. But it's very very quick to download. Now what we want to do? Let's go ahead and play a SNES game. Right. So now let's go ahead and load Super Mario World, one of my favorite SNES games out there. And let's just go to set core association and make sure we are using the correct core, the one we want to use, which is B SNES HD Beta. Right, let's run this. Okay, once the game loads up, you'll, you'll see straight away it is Super Mario World. Let's just get into the game and get into a level. But you can see it's in a normal aspect ratio. It's normal Super Mario World. So once we're in game, uh, press E. Well, if it's F1, if you've got a keyboard, if you haven't, whatever you've set your menu button to, go into the quick menu and uh, go down to core options. Here we go. Once we go into core options, there's a number of options here. You can mess about with a few. Check out whatever you like. And as we go down, down, let's go down a little bit more until we see widescreen mode. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can have it only for mode 17 scenes or you can enable for all scenes so let's go ahead and switch that on which we have now if you want to save it just go down a little bit further in the quick menu go to overrides now you can choose to save game override or you can do save core override so because we're going to test a few more games i'm going to do save core override but you can do it on a per game basis but let's save that here we go we've got a prompt up telling us that it's done it and now we're going back into the game it should kind of reset and it should give us a widescreen version of the game here we are now your mileage may vary on this uh, depending on the game type but as you can see if you're playing this on your rog ally your screen is full up now the edges they're not actually playable areas and you can't access them but it does make it look nice and and complete and it's not like a widescreen where it's just stretched that everything is still in proportion and it does look really really good and here you go so you're kind of using the screen as you can see that turtle didn't appear from the end of the screen he just kind of popped out a little bit there but it's just it's really really nice now so on some games it's terrible on some games it does look really really good do let me know wh which ones you try but before i end this video let's have a look at a few more examples of games some i guess will be okay some might not be okay Okay, the next game we're looking at is Aero Fighters. Now, uh, you've still got the same screen space that you've got, but now like the sides, you've got bits on the sides. But look, if I go over there, that's the border. I can't go any more further left. That is the maximum left I can go. But I feel it looks really, really nice. It definitely adds like a nice effect to the game. And uh, yeah, it just it just fills out the Rogue Ally screen, which I think does look really, really nice. Let's have a look at another game okay now having a look at street fighter as you can see it just looks kind of bizarre to have a longer stage and look that's the border over there but it does kind of look nice look look at that so as we kind of scroll down the stage there's more of it but there is an invisible wall there so okay next up let's check out turtles in time and as you can see this looks quite it looks quite nice and uh, also on another note there are actual widescreen hacks that are made there's actually a widescreen hack of super mario world that is out and that works really really well and that's actually done so it actually utilizes the whole screen not like over here where we've got an edges and the enemies kind of still pop out to where the real edge of the screen is but this does look really really good it's decent eye candy kind of think of them as as board 
orders for your games but this might be something you like it might be something you dislike do let me know in the comments and uh, i know you guys can hear my controller while i'm doing this but i was doing this test real time and, and kind of checking everything out but let's have a look at one more game before we call this a wrap okay uh, let's up let's look at magic sword heroic fantasy as you can see like it varies from game to game and you can see like the right hand side it's just kind of create cre creating the images as it kind of goes along and it doesn't really look great so it'll work better on some games than it will be on some others let me know if, if you guys want to see kind of more tutorials for the rog ally i can actually do one where you've got really really nice bezels so when you're playing the game you've got some nice effect there's a whole bunch of bezels out there available for uh, for retro arch and if you do want to see some tutorials then definitely let me know in the comment section below but that's really it for this video guys if you did find it useful then a subscription and a like is super appreciated uh take care of yourself take care of each other this is pixel cherry ninja out